it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the benchmarking and performance results from our MSI GTX 1050 Ti Gaming X. Uh, the reason we're doing this video a little bit differently is unfortunately I hurt my neck uh, Friday so I'm really not able to do much of anything. Luckily I was able to record a good majority of what I needed for the video prior to Friday uh, so lucky for you you won't have to see my ugly mug for this video uh, I'll be doing a little bit of voiceover we'll look at performance uh, we're also going to take a look at fan noise as well uh, so stay tuned I hope you enjoy so the first thing that I'd like to discuss is the overclocking um, so one of the things that I alluded to in the first video when we unboxed and took a quick look at this card is the fact that it does have a 6-pin PCIe power connector. Uh, that is not found on the majority of 1050s and 1050 Ti cards. Uh, they are touted as low power cards. While this one is still something that I would consider low power, the neat part about having the 6-pin is it is going to allow theoretically for better overclocks. So here you can see we're taking a look at Heaven Benchmark and we were able to hit a max overclock of 1911 megahertz uh, throughout synthetic benchmarking I was able to stay at that 1911 mark it did fall slightly in actual gameplay uh, but I still think this is incredibly uh, incredibly good overclocking when you consider what the card ships with uh, it does have uh, silent gaming and overclock modes uh, the overclocked boost clock that it ships with is 1,493. Uh, so basically 1,500. We've tacked on a little bit more than 400 to that. At this point, let's go ahead and take a look at the performance graphs. Uh, we're going to see if this card truly is the 1080p price to performance king. Yeah. 
so as you can see this card really is great value for money at 1080p uh, here we can see the temperatures which were absolutely phenomenal uh, let's go ahead and take a listen to fan noise So as you can see, this card is perfect for 1080p gaming. Uh, for the most part, you'll be able to run high, if not ultra, settings. Uh, you may need to scale it back a bit on certain games. I uh, do feel like this is a great card to go ahead and pick up if you're only going to be gaming at 1080p. Uh, I would not recommend this particular one as it's around $170 at Newegg. Uh, you can actually look a few other places and find some 1063 gig cards around that same price range. Uh, so that'll do it for today. I appreciate you guys watching and I look forward to the next one. See ya.